Andre Siregar, the Intelligence Consul in Darwin. I'm here with my friends from the consulate, uh, Ardian Nugroho and also Jerry. Uh, we've been here for uh, two days now, we've been following the sale uh, Darwin Ambon. But also, it is important, we've been uh, witnessing the Gulf Forces commemoration uh, of their uh, liberation after 70 years. Uh, it really benefits uh, how strong a relation that we have uh, between uh, Australia and Indonesia. Um, it shows really uh, the close ties, the mateship that Indonesia and Australians uh, share. Uh, so coming here, I met with some of the family members, uh, but also uh, uh, we've met even some of the witnesses uh, in Darwin, we've met with Max, but um, the, the presence of Australia in Darwin is definitely felt and uh, we do appreciate and I'd like to uh, say that makes us real brothers and uh, we have a history that is unforgettable and um, we hope that through this these uh, these kind of people take people relations we can further enhance uh, those, uh, the strength that ties between the two countries. Katrina from Lim, the Lord Mayor of Darwin. We're here today to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the liberation of Gulf Force. Gulf Force's association with Darwin was that they spent their last six months in Australia in Darwin It means that uh, other parts of the country are, are getting involved and diversifying the relationship. Unfortunately, if it all becomes Cambridge Car, it's not necessarily very healthy. So I think the really great thing about Darwin, based on proximity, strong orientation of Coupang, but also very much here to Ambon, means that we're getting very diversified. And as I said before, the real beauty here is it's got real people doing real things, the yacht race, uh, people doing business, uh, people helping each other out. So it's, it's something that's not just... 